Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to the weekly challenge stream. I'm happy to be here with you as always. Please say hello if you're here in the chat. I will say hello like that. Oh, the emojis. We're busting out the emojis. Hope you're all doing very well today. I'm excited, actually. Well, no, not, I'm usually excited when I come to the stream, but like today particularly. I'm going to even put a cool face in the emojis. Some rocket ships fire in a cool face. Wow. Hello, Kim. Steve, hello. Hi, sweetie. Nick, hello. Tom, yo. How's it going? I can catch the entire stream for once. Okay, great. I'm excited. Um, I've never actually made Synthwave before, uh, but I love it. It's so cool. And I'm very excited to give it a shot today, actually. Yeah, I have some ideas in mind that, as per usual, are probably going to not go as I expect. But that's the name of the game. So... This is weekly challenge number nine. We're doing Synthwave with stock instruments. I'm using Studio One. It can be any key, any tempo. It's supposed to be authentic to the genre, in that kind of outro, uh, outro, in the outro genre, in the outrun, retro wave, synth wave, maybe bordering on vapor wave, maybe, you know, that sort of vibe. Old school synths and drums and things. And yeah, so that's what we're working on today. I'm going to be doing my entry today live on the stream and hopefully about two hours or so, um, create the composition within two hours. And let's just see at the end of the stream, we're going to listen to everyone else's submissions, which there's been a few, which I'm very excited to listen to. Thank you all for participating. Yes. Arun, welcome. Stranger, hello. Ludovic, hello. Oh, that's fine, Tom. I was actually like, yeah, I was hoping you would respond to that harmony question and that you would be like, let's chat about it <laughs> because I actually really want to chat about it. It's like big on my mind. I actually made a harmonic discovery the other day that I've been hoping to find for like years and suddenly it just appeared to me and I have next to no one to talk about it with because it's like hyper nerdy specific stuff. So, you know, Thomas, welcome. Okay. So, a sip of water. Thank you. You're only making Synthwave from now on, Nick. That's great. <clears throat> I'm probably going to join that club, too. Former duo. Okay, so, um, let's get this out of the way. Uh, okay, so what I've done today is I've gone ahead and created a kit already. Drum kit, just to save you guys the boredom. So what I did to create this kit is I took the standard outrun kit that comes from Presonus and then I modified it. It was decent already, but I have a new kick and I've changed some snares and hi-hats and okay, I basically changed the whole thing, but <laughs> I use it as a starting point to get inspired. And I didn't want to do it all on stream because it's kind of boring. So this is my kick, which now that I hear it in headphones, Sounds a bit funny in my, my monitors. It sounded fantastic, but well, we're going to make it work. I have a few different snares to choose from. Some hats, some Tommies. You started with the Outrun kit kit. <laughs> you took the same kit. Okay. <laughs> Lorenzo Selby, I just picked up three courses at a great deal. New to the show. Ah, welcome. That's great to hear. Hope you're doing well. Happy to have you here. So now why does this sound so much grosser in my headphones than it did in my monitors? That's unfortunate. Let's see. So that's sounding okay. It's this. I can make this tighter. Or not make this tighter? What's happening here? Oh, it's because of the hold. There we go. That's better. Shamkar, welcome. Hello. All right, we gonna do it. And I want to do a fast one today. I know that there's like um, 
a variety of tempos that people work in in this genre, ranging from probably like 90 or even slower up to, I don't know, 140-ish, which is what I'm going to do today. I heard a track on a playlist that was like, oh, yes, let's go. That sort of vibe. You know that vibe when you just say, oh, let's go. Yeah, that's the vibe I had this morning. Okay, so. Uh-huh. Um, okay, I've got a few ideas for stuff. Let's just get started with the drums, and then um, we'll just see what happens. As always, please feel free to give uh, suggestions or questions or anything that you like as we go. I'm happy to chat with you, as always. Okay, so let's just lay this down. Luckily, when you're working in synthwave, I mean, relatively speaking, we can just quantize everything all the time. Yeah, it has to quantize decently well. In fact, we can just do this. Ay, ay, ay. What's up with this, hey? You guys know, like, why do we need to go push the plus to get the velocity to show? Just give me the velocity thing. I don't need it. I don't want to push plus. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm a 16th note off. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. How's the volume? Decent, hopefully. Now I know in this genre also sometimes they're not putting a kick on every beat. I wonder about that for this, what do you guys think? I kind of like the kick on every beat, but also it's fine without. I don't know, maybe maybe without today, let's see. Volume's good, okay. So I'm just gonna max out my whatever velocity. So uh, on this kick sample, I'm hearing a little bit of like a, a tail kind of ugly little tail sound. I think it's coming from this. A little bit of noise that comes after it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Let's do it. So I like to, when I'm designing envelopes, volume envelopes for drums, I like to use the hold function for like some amount of milliseconds, call it 30 or 50 or whatever, just so that the decay doesn't eat into the initial body of the sound, but is only dealing with the tail. You know, in this case, let's see what this is like. Let's pitch this down. So I'm gonna make it as long as possible without having that little noise tail. Like this. Still there a little bit, but. There we go. Okay. Not a huge fan of the snare. I got a more legit snare here too. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> this thing. I'm gonna stick with this one for now just because it's got more body to it and then we'll see how we do. Okay, so let's set this to loop. Sofa please, welcome, hello. I have a feeling like these drums are already pretty loud, so the easiest solution for me is just gonna be, let's just pull it down on here. I like this kind of vibe. It's like rock music, but with synths, kind of, in a way. Like, I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's the vibe I get. Um, okay, so I just wanna do a quick little bit of can you believe it? We haven't done anything, and I'm already gonna do a quick bit of mixing, but that's just the way I gotta the way I gotta do it, guys. Just gonna compress the elements together a little bit in the drums. On the snare. We're gonna go to a verb and see if room reverb can help us. 
perfect. Is that cheese? I'm going to put a little bit of verb on the kick, too. We'll see if it actually works out like I'm imagining. Ugh. Not at all. Okay, let's just try this and we'll go for a room, drum room, big drums. It's gonna be way too big. Yeah. Oh my god. Probably should have used that on the snare actually. Okay, we actually have to look at these names. Drum ambience. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about this. I should have done this ahead of time. But you know... Let's figure it out later. Okay. Just the kick feels a bit too tiny right now. I want a little bit of room just to make it bigger, but I need like a smooth sounding room, so we'll get to that at some point. Okay. Sultan, hello, welcome. Good to have you back. Glad you're here. Okay, so let's move on to some synths. Um, we're just going to get the initial pluck going on here. The bass pluck, that is. That's why you're asking about a reverb to buy. Seriously. For me, it's like if there's one external third-party plugin type to buy, it's a reverb. Like a lot of the stuff that comes with Studio One or any DAW is pretty decent, but like reverb usually is not. And so, yeah, that's my number one recommendation. Okay, so we'll start with this guy. And we're gonna, just gonna go boom, boom. Like this, stock reverb is so hard to love. this and then we're going to do this open air is our savior seriously how come this resonance is not sounding like anything Like, it's an acquired taste you never acquire. <laughs> I like that.
let's just put some notes down and start tweaking it. Um, I'm just going to put some random notes in right now. It doesn't actually matter. JSF, welcome. You love the San Francisco remix. Thank you. If you guys don't know, I have a bunch of like a bunch. I have like four remixes on the channel. I've got a few more I've not uploaded to there yet, but they're actually pretty cool. You might want to check them out. I want to buy a Ma Max MyType preset library. Hey, Nick, it's on the way. Trust me. It's hard to find time to work on it, but it's going to happen. In Studio One Two Open Air had no presets. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of the vibe I'm looking for. And then I want the mod wheel. Let's think about this. We want the yeah mod wheel to control cutoff. But not that much. Remixes sound amazing. Thank you, Sophie, please. that, get a little bit of release. Okay, Coolio. Let's put a uh, red light on this guy. sound is jumping around the stereo spectrum like crazy just because of the way that the spread is the detuning is interfering with itself basically um, just the way it is red light saves a day the other option we have actually is to make this the higher octave this the lower octave keep the lower octave mono and the higher one that might actually be better consistent. Cool. The red light looks synthwave for sure, yeah. Last week you were enjoying music and SoundCloud. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. There's a lot of stuff on there. Old stuff, but good stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna, usually this distortion is gonna create some uh, really low frequency content that we don't actually want, and I'm just going to remove some of that now. Hello, Amit. Welcome. stuff in there. Do you think ducking would be good to add on the synth? Of course. <laughs> Stan, welcome. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. I flipped the room around. John, thank you so much for covering how to do synthwave in Studio One. Can we expect more synthwave creation from you? I don't know. Maybe. I'd be into it. I mean, we'll see how today goes. If it turns out like super sick, then yeah, sure. I'm down with it. Let's... Oh, I like it. Let's just, can we just be done now? This is it. I could just listen to this all day. 
I mean, with a little bit of side chaining, but like otherwise. Already sick, yeah. This is already better than anything I can make, that's hilarious. I'm actually really excited to hear what you did, Nick. What drum kit did I use? I used the standard OutRun kit in um, Studio One, and then OutRun is like a variant of Synthwave, you could say, kind of like what I'm doing here. And then, um, and then I just modified it a bit. Let me just turn the heater off. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I just hear this constant. <sighs> Give me one sec. Every time I turn the heater off for one of these things, I forget to turn it back on. Then I come in to the studio the next morning and it's like freezing cold. And I say, sorry, instruments. Hope you don't crack. Needs this nice synth lead. Yep, we're gonna get there. End of the game. Just leave it like this and put a vocoder on your mic, yeah. <laughs> now, let's put already, believe it or not, I'm gonna put a red light on the entire track. Skelly having a lie down. Yeah, it's totally true. I actually keep meaning to set him up. I have a skeleton behind me. Daft Punk tribute. <laughs> totally. Yeah, that was interesting news, hey? So, bass. Okay, so now I'm gonna start thinking about chords. I'm just gonna get a really basic patch in here. Yeah, red light's a lot of fun. Okay, let's go like this. Hello loud. And then um It's causing the red light to distort. Hey, we're gonna have to, to uh, yeah, figure that out later. We'll see. craft work for your heating. <laughs> Sounds like a Pointer Sisters album. <laughs> okay, so this is coming along. Ken, welcome. Hello. Okay, so, um, I just like touch knobs randomly in room reverb and hope that like it gets better. That's you know, not exactly the case, but it's pretty close. All right. 
So, um, we've already started an E minor, so why not? I was thinking... Something like... Um, EQing room reverb, I think so too, Nick. I think it's a great idea. And then like one of these guys. That's my that's my synth wave progression for today. Um how did I just play this? And then maybe one of these. Is this not the synth wave chord right here? <laughs> Phrygian Dom. <laughs> maybe. This thing's got way too much high end in it. That's just EQ it. Hey, that's just like Nick said, that's the easier way than trying to mess around. We ain't here to mess around. So pro EQ. No, we're always here to mess around. Okay. Welcome everybody who's new to the stream, by the way. Um, please feel free to introduce yourself. Say hello. Make yourself known. I'm happy to chat with you. Daft Punk retires and Max slides in. We on the way. Okay, so. I'm not gonna straight up just like play this patch. I was just using it to um, develop the chords. I think though that that kind of progression is gonna work for what I wanna do. This into, let's get a better voicing. This into this into one of these guys. And then the second time, maybe you go uh, this. The Pookie, <laughs> that's so funny. We call our dog Pookie. And then, welcome by the way. Then this time, they will go into this version. Yeah, let's try that out. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna program the bass to do it first. We need one of those little things, right? Boom, 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 You're a dog too. Okay. It's gonna be a low bass note. Serious, serious two of hearts fives. What's that? Two of hearts. Um, Neil, welcome. Uh, let's think about this. Let's end up on this note. The bass line's nice, yeah. Thanks. Let's go like this. And then um, we're going to be here. And then maybe like this. Just guessing right now, I don't actually know. And then this is gonna be like this. And then like this. Hmm. 
<laughs> kind of works. Um, then this we're going to make into a little pluck. And that's going to really do the trick for us right now. Could just loop for 20 minutes. <laughs> Okay, we're satisfied. We like it. <laughs> I'm actually super stoked to be working on this track. Started my new career. Synthwave producer, Max Coney. Okay. minutes worth of a song in the 80s. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking of something like Oh yeah, the 80s quality mode. Hell yeah, Nick. Good idea. <laughs> and then... Actually, let's try that. Kind of screwed up the ending there, but I get the idea. So, oops. So yeah, let me just quit the session. That's what I want to do, right? No. what I'm looking for, hey? Just a just a low pass filter. <laughs> okay, let's fix that chord at the end there. So Nick, that'd be great. 
It's not quite the arpeggio I'm looking for, but it's going to do for now, maybe. Saglum. Awesome. I should have found out about the weekly production sooner. Hey, welcome. Join up on the Discord. I forget to mention that every single time. Every single time before I'm going to start a stream, I say, mention the Discord, mention the courses, say the description thing, and I forget. So if you're here, check out the description. There's a link to the Discord if you want to participate in the weekly challenges. It's open to you. You can also do it. And I'm gonna, at, the end, at the end of today's stream, I'm going to play entries from other people in the Discord. How exciting. Also, there's a couple of courses I have there on music theory and composition if you're interested in checking that out. Otherwise, here's the track. Yes, I have two Udemy courses available in the description here, both on music theory. Appreciate you guys for mentioning that. Okay, so now um, I'm going to take this guy. It's probably too bright, and we'll just we'll just see though. Um, boom, boom, doo. I'm going to kind of fill in this low zone here because this guy's up here. So we'll see, um, yeah, we'll just put the chords in first and then we'll decide what we want to do with it. Well, we'll should we just put them on every pair? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, okay, so let's use this guy into this guy into this guy into I like it on chord Love to have people join the week Discord weekly challenges. Great sharing interaction. I appreciate it immensely. Me too, Nick. I really enjoy them. Yeah, please, everybody on the on the stream, join the Discord. Participate in the weekly challenge. Check the past weeks. They're all on my um, YouTube here and see like what's going on, what kind of challenges we're doing. It's like actually super fun. You'll all really dig it. Okay, so I played this chord wrong. This is decent. This is okay.
So we could have this like filter even more. It's kind of cool actually. Um, so I did a uh, hour-ish long stream the other day on passing chords. Passing chords. So we're gonna do some of those right now, cause you know, gotta practice what I preach, right? Okay. So this into this into this. into I've been meaning to learn more about production recording. Maybe this is what I've been looking for. This is what you've been looking for. Cheers to the community, you seem quite supportive. <laughs> Use your passing chords in your track this week. Great, cool. Uh, what is that? Uh, where are my notes here? That's the note I want. Same one again, maybe. Um, how did we set this up? Let's think. Could be like this. Could be like this. Not quite what I'm looking for. You love the passing chords chord session. I couldn't watch it live. Watch the whole thing afterwards. I think I found a new. I think I found a new dimension I was looking for. <laughs> That's great, Arun. C Dell, hello, welcome. not the chord that I want. What is the chord that I want? That's a good question. Maybe just that. Chris, welcome. Yeah, I mean, that's just fine. We'll just play it standard E minor seven. Yeah, I like that. And this guy, um, No secondary dominance in uh, synthwave.
neoclassical synth wave with secondary doms. I was kind of thinking about that, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it off for a bit. Well, we'll see. We might actually get there. Okay, and then I have a second version of this chord progression that I want to play here, where the last chord is not the four major, which like it is here, but is actually just four sus, basically. Four minor seven sus. I don't know exactly what you call that chord, but it's the tonic chord over the four chord, put it that way. change everybody else so you guys are it's too low hey and then we yes yeah so I'll have to change a couple things um... Maddie hello welcome Cam, that, that's exactly what happened to me when Tom first appeared on the channel. I'm a very long, long time Tom Quayle fan. And when he first showed up here, I, I literally was like speechless. I don't know how it's possible in, in some kind of like entered some kind of alternate reality or something. But like, honestly, if you go back to one, one of the streams, I forget which one it was. I'm just like flabbergasted when it happened. Sorry to put you on the spot, Tom, but that is true. <laughs> <laughs> so then this is going to be um yeah so there we go chords really working for me honestly I thought it was thought it was going to but it just isn't really what is the sound I'm looking for here it's actually kind of cool sus like that it's kind of synth wavy
use my tie to capture that teenage angst. pretty cool. Oh yeah, we got the automations going on now. Okay, that's coming together. Um, let's try. Rodrigo, hello, welcome, good to have you here. Okay, so these toms are like hella weak right now, hey? We need them to be like beefy. So I might need to bounce them out and deal with them first, I think, let's just see. I've sent them to their own uh, output in here. So let's see if we can just deal with them straight in here would be great. Some song of orchestral maneuvers in the dark comes to mind. I don't know um, who that is. How much headroom do you have? I saw your kick and snare peeking at zero at the rule of thumb was around minus 12. I have no headroom right now. <laughs> I'm actually hitting the limiter the entire time. And so I'm doing that because um, I'm streaming. If, if I mixed at the volume, if I did this at the volume I'm normally working at, it would be so quiet compared to other YouTube videos that you'd blow your ears off if you change videos. So I actually have to try to push it hard all the time when I'm streaming. Unless someone knows a better idea. Now I stream the project file. That was the plan. Every time I do a stock instruments thing, I, I want to share it. I just haven't been doing it because I don't know, I'm lazy or something, but I'm happy to share it if people want it. So we need to like... This is like... Who knows what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
Eh, that's great, Neil. You've been using restream on the main. I haven't noticed that issue. Restream on the main. I don't know what you mean. I don't even really know what restream is, so. <laughs> I see people talk about it, but you know. But you know, I don't know. Um, let's try to put a distortion. Oh, I got all the things to make the Michael Jackson track. Yeah, another day. Okay, he's just sounding way fatter now. Restream is a plugin that is bonkers. It's a plugin on here. Uh, oh, like in, it's like an actual audio plugin for streaming in your DAW? Am I like so out of the loop that I don't know about this? OBS hand in hand. Wow, you guys gotta like get me hip to this. If you wanna send me some info in the Discord, actually, like if it's gonna make my streaming life better, I'm down with it. Um, yeah, hook me up, please. Oh, Rea Stream, like a Reaper plugin. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you, Thomas. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like some something I can put in here. I kind of want to do that, you know. Um, what else can we do? Jazzy. Let's try just the standard major chord there. I almost want to see what's up with that. Right here. Oh damn, no sound at the end of the recording, that's terrible. 
I so often forget to record my sessions like locally. And then if I want to edit it later, I have to go like download it off YouTube. It's a whole thing. So if ever like you remember and you're on the stream, just say, Max, are you recording? That would be actually super helpful. Now, does my symbol make sense here or is it too out of place? Oh my God, sorry about that. It's okay, I guess. Eeyore, hey, welcome. So here we're gonna go for a little double snare. And then we'll throw in the toms. Let's get the... Hey, welcome. Does the bass feel too loud to you guys? It's totally dry, so it kind of stands out to me, but I'm in headphones, so it's kind of hard for me to tell as well. Feels all right. I wasn't planning to put it on the SoundCloud, Steve, honestly, but I actually don't know what to do with these tracks when I finish them. If I should like balance them and put them on SoundCloud or if I should just upload them to YouTube as like a, their own video. I don't know if you guys have an opinion on that. I've got a number of them now. Let's try to work on a bit of an intro here. I had an idea for a, a kind of an intro. I don't know if it's going to work out. I kind of wanted to take like to make a new bass synth that's just going to be massive. Um, let's see. It's a really great track. I need my one of your faves currently shredding over this. <laughs> Sick. Okay, let's enable this, if I can, yeah, not quite blind. So I'm gonna try to make like a super fat with mad resonance kind of thing, full drive. Good to know, stranger. Thank you. Hell yeah. You hear how it's going without the noise? Sounds like this and with. The noise is getting like destroyed. That sort of thing. That's because it's coming into the red light distortion at the end of the mastering chain and the sub frequencies of the bass 
are so strong that it's distorting the high end, which is like one of the coolest sounds. <laughs> I really like it anyway. Phaser. Hell yeah. A playlist on YouTube of all your finished challenge songs would be fun. Okay, that's probably a good idea. We need to get the Pantus Project stems maybe via Patreon or just Discord. Uh-huh. Interesting. Now we need like a big. Woo. Okay, Sophocles, great to have you here as always. Have a good rest of your night. Sadly, I have to leave. Super happy to have seen this already in the Discord channel. Check the UD courses. That's great, Sam. Sam, Kem, I'm sorry if I say your name wrong. Please let me know. Great to have you here. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So I'm just going to record this guy in maybe here. That sort of deal. And um, I'm thinking like within the span of this note, I can get into the beat. Sam works. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, and if anyone else here is new, welcome. Happy to have you here. Please say hello if you are. Let me know where you're viewing from or if you have any questions or concerns. Are you concerned about the track? I'm not, but... Maybe you are. Bass banger. Banger. As who would say that? Uh, banger. Who's the British guy that we watch? <laughs> Other than Tom. Sam Pilgrim. Anybody know who Sam Pilgrim is? That would be amazing. Um, okay, so I'm thinking that I'll put a kick on this as well. I, I, I hate it when it does that. How do we make it not do that? <laughs> I know. I forgot his name. <laughs> you know, I'm live, right? Andre, hello, welcome. So I'm thinking perhaps well, you need some like rhythmic element to already start us off, but like. Let's just get a, let's just get a, let's just try this. If we do this and then we say, we were just talking about talking about this in the discord, this, um, whatever it's called, um, reverse reverb, boop, just click it and we get a booper like that, <laughs> you know? And then we're just going to make sure this guy is going to the right place. And let's just get rid of, we can just go an event effect and put a EQ on him. And just remove a whole bunch of high frequencies. Woo! Thing is huge, man. I'm super into BMX downhill single track stuff. Oh, wow. That's cool, Maddie. I'm super into bikes, all kinds, BMX, mountain bike, whatever. Mine's actually like all kinds of extreme sports. We love to watch like whatever, snowboarding, BMX, skateboarding, mountain bike, down for it. I will leave with, done with the interest. 12.45 here. Okay, Arun. <laughs> I'm new from France. Discovered your channel via the drum programming lessons, the musical madness series. I'm a Reaper user, but love watching you work on this one. Oh, that's great to hear, Ludovic. Okay, so. so we're going to render this effect into this. Then we're going to boost the volume. We're going to just sweep it in real fast. Just 
faster. And then, um, I think, let's see what we can do here. Could be hi-hat, could be the, could be this, could be this, um, with, Like this? Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah, I love the big fat sound too. Let's just group these and then we're gonna use the mod. Start it. Um, and then on like the last beat, we're going to really swing it in. That sort of deal. And then we'll also add, we'll add a little, you can take the drum fill from over here. That little thing. Maybe even like, maybe even like this. Nah, no. This be like way more intense. This thing's also too loud. the hi-hats in there doing something maybe what are the sounds we got oh we got this snare too it's actually maybe even better it's kind of like noisy and and then we'll get like the yeah let's try the hi-hats Maybe needs a fill column's Tom solo, straight up, honestly. Hi, Chris. We can also do like this sort of thing. Oh yeah, these guys need to be maxed out too, right? You mean, you mean on the off beats, just tss, 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 like that? That's kind of cool, actually. We could try it. I mean, like this. The claps. I got this clap. It's okay. You need a pow snare, like right at the end. That's actually pretty cool. Let's, let's leave this um, offbeat hat thing. I like it. Uh, maybe like this. Mm -hmm. 
I'm looking at getting a small controller with a sequencer. Would you recommend the Arturia key step? Could you give me any other ideas? I don't know enough, Sam, honestly, about all the different controllers. What I can tell you is I wouldn't get anything less than 32 keys. Um, yeah, I've had students use a variety of little controllers over the years. A bunch of them have had problems and broken in different ways, so I'm not like huge on the idea. Maybe someone in, in the, um, yeah, someone in the chat knows a bit better than me about small controllers. Yeah, Neil, that's what I hope for as well. <laughs> Maybe the snare should double with these toms. The intro sounds like a Carpenter movie theme. <laughs> I'm also thinking about putting a filter over the entire intro. Could be kind of cool. Um, if we do like... I wonder if we can do, do it with a red light. Is this going to be a thing? Like if we just restrict the frequencies, is it going to actually work? I don't know. Hell yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm so glad that worked out. In fact, I can probably just do it with the one I've already got, right? Like that's probably the solution. Let's just try this. Teaching yourself to program using Kotlin for Android is making my head explode. Wow, that sounds cool. Honestly, though, I kind of want to use the other one just because I get even more distortion on the intro. Kim, you're a software developer. That's cool. I had no idea. You probably told me before, but sorry. Kotlin's your favorite language. Am I saying that right? Kotlin? Kotlin? Okay, let's just get some touch automation. And then can come in here and grab the low frequency. Ah, Nick, wow, okay. You guys are just on on the programming side of things here. <laughs> So then we'll try to move the, the high frequencies at the same time. Put this to read. turn that limiter or limiter we need to turn that red light off at that very moment so we can do this This guy over here, longer. And 
louder. So we'll get rid of this. Let's move everything. Even the automation, please. Please move the automation for me. You're not going to do it, are you? Why? Okay. How do I just grab all these automation dots at once? I want you all to move. Seems like a fair request. Okay, and then when we get to the end of a section, let's see if we can ramp up the high frequencies on the bass. She doesn't sound doesn't sound that cool. Doesn't sound that cool at all, unfortunately. Where'd my pluck? Where'd my pluck go? Sweet. Now we need a lead. Okay, Arun. <laughs> have a good sleep. Great to have you here. Beep. saw waves. Okay, and then this guy is going to have a slowly modulating pitch. So we'll say LFO1 controls oscillator 1 pitch. several late nights of programming, so I didn't make an entry this week, despite very, being, being very excited. Ah, okay. Everybody's into the programming life.
Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, okay, that's cool. Definitely need to get the flanger involved. some of this. Rene from Denmark. Ah, wonderful. Nice to have you here. Let's just try it like this and see. We got no reverb on it, of course, right now, so let's Get that. Have to program because nobody will pay for my music. <laughs> Not yet. like it. Okay, so What are you doing to work out the lead line melody? I'm trying to do a few things simultaneously. I'm thinking about rhythmically what's being taken up. Like on the first hit, we're immediately hearing bing boom bum boom. So that's like the ear is gonna grab that. So I didn't really wanna put a melody note right on that. So that's kind of like the melody for a second. Bing boom bum boom. So I'm thinking about kind of, yeah, intersecting rhythms that way. Also thinking about range, what octave to play in. Thinking about the chords that are underneath me, so chord tones in the melody. And then just the rest is all instinctive, just trying to feel it out, of course, which you can't really teach. Um, yeah, But you, you have your own way of doing it, of course. I'd put a gated verb on that snare. It's too polite. Yeah, I think you might be right, Ludovic. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
wrong note. That was the wrong notes, but right idea. Okay. This thing's too loud too, hey? Arima, welcome. Okay, we need a big pitch bend. So let's set this guy up to be like an octave. And then I think maybe we should clean up this sound a little bit. Maybe like, what's... Maybe like that. Do this again. Oh, 
I'll do something cool here. Minor third in there. I'm not expecting that. Maybe we'll just leave it out. notes, right rhythm. <laughs> kind of getting a bit too high for my liking, but it's not terrible though. Double treble, welcome. I'm just gonna try this ridiculous move. I don't know that it's gonna work out in my favor, but not in this track. <laughs> A bunch of options there. Woo! Just keep it, keep it straight. Um. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna duplicate this whole track. We're gonna make a variant of the sound. Maybe that uses a square wave. Instead of, instead of a sign, uh, a sign, a saw. And we're gonna do every second phrase, perhaps, in this guy, so like this. And this will be muted here. This one's way louder, hey? That's interesting. Not sure how I feel about it. Big volume difference is going on between them though, so let's... Um... Let's send them both to a bus. And compress. Just to try to even out a little bit of volume. Uh, this is not doing what I want because it's not. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not yep. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Sending it to. Possible. What's what called? Double. Like, you mean these things? I'm just muting the actual MIDI notes, which is a cool feature in Studio One. You just push Shift-M. 
like that. I wonder about instead of instead of muting this, let's just double it perhaps. Let's see. And like on this one, let's get rid of this. Actually, let's keep it clean. And pan them. Pan them. Kind of like that. I've just muted all these now, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Just in case I ever want to get them back double, that's why I'm muting them. So I'm thinking about putting all this stuff... Where are we with the timing? Like this all needs to be delayed until like here. I guess right here is where we want it, really. But maybe this will work out too. Hey, Matthias, welcome. Nice to see you, even just for a short little while. Right here, we have to harmonize this. Be a da do. Be criminal to not do it. What chord are we on here? say your course is really and truly helping me in my journey becoming a music producer. Wow, that's great. Which course are you talking about, Double? Um, the Udemy ones or the uh, Studio One course? I'm just going to have to... Megan did a couple emojis and it got me, got me in the mood. Oh, I don't know. The Shimmer Rocket Music Party? Oh, the rocket got missed. We out of we you. Okay, I had this really cool idea earlier today for this track. I don't know if it's gonna work out in the time limit um, that we that I want to work on the track. Where are we at? Oh, we're already at a minute, so we need to actually chop this out, pull this back. Musical warp drive. Uh huh. Great. That's wonderful. I'm so glad it's helpful for you. Okay, I don't really like this doubling thing I've got going on here, honestly. Let's just wait till the harmony part. Missing the pluck again. What keeps happening with this pluck? Oh, it's the mod wheel gets stuck. 
Uh, we'll get stuck on uh, being muted. So here's the idea. Um, we're going to duplicate this section. You always forget to turn it down low when checking levels. Super helpful. So I can't live without it, honestly. Um, I want to complete this run. Be a dee da doo doo. going to be so cool if I can do it. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is try to transition into a triplet feel with the same everything else. So I want to start, yes, I want to start the first bit of it out normal, then put in a triplet drum fill, and then change over. So the idea is going to be kind of like... Like we're gonna get rid of these notes. Do that sort of thing. Let's see if it works. Um, okay, so. Oh yeah, triplets. <laughs> Every time I hear that, oh, how does that feel go? Yep, and then We need a sweep to go into it. I'm just going to use this sweep for now. It's not actually ideal, but... And then we need to cut everything off right there. This is going to be our outro, basically. Um... This is going to be cool. Can't stand how it does that. do that. Why? Wow. 
Well, that could have been cool too. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's just try. So let's take this. Where's our base at? Hell yeah, Tom. And then for this section, we're going to duplicate um, the base. And beef it up. Keith, welcome. I recognize the name. Hope you're doing well. Also in this section, I'm gonna beef up the kick just to like make it even more more fat. Um, let's see, how do we do that? We're gonna go Ugh.
But we are going to just suddenly turn this EQ on at that moment. Oops. What on earth did I just do? Yeah, that's right. get a bit louder because I'm just going to push into the limiter a bit harder now. We need 20 more men of this B section. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I can't wait to check that out. I'm over a minute, but I just need to. I just have to do it. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I need just like the most ridiculous chord to go right here. Maybe like that was <laughs> that was a ridiculous chord. <laughs> Not the one I'm looking for though. Is the sound I'm looking for. Oh, maybe 
one of these. The noise he made, the noise I made while digging. I can't remember now. <laughs> Let's just see if this is actually going to work. It might the chord change might ruin everything, but I think I'm running out of time on the challenge. I don't want to like abuse my privileges here. Yeah, I love that dark harmony. That's like honestly my favorite thing. Okay, let's just hear it from the top. We're gonna listen to everybody else's submissions just shortly. I'm basically done. Gated reverb, somebody suggested. Ludovic suggested the gated reverb. They probably need that. Yeah, Chris, I think you might be right. <laughs> Connected in some ways, anyway. Yeah, we could change the time signature for sure, Kim. Like to a 6-8 or whatever, but whatever. I'm fine to just write in triplets like this too. Give me one sec to try out this, um, to try out the, whatever it's called, gated verb. Do they have like a gated thing in here? Effects. It's okay. Not bad. Is there a way to search these presets just for the word gate? That would be good. There probably is, hey? Like searching in the effects thing or something. Huh. 
Harley feels gated. Can I just create my own gate in here? That's probably a thing, hey? Actually, I don't know how. Let's try one of the other ones that we found just for sake of time. Effect, gated reverse or whatever it's called. Reverse gate, random gate. One's okay. Pretty cool. Um, does this thing have just a master volume on it? No, it doesn't. Hey? Oh, it does. Not really what I was expecting, but... I think I would need some more time to figure it out and probably change the different verbs. Let's just be a synth wave community for now. Shamkar was like a couple chord stabs at the end. Maybe just a single chord stab. I almost feel like this is supposed to fade out this track, but you know. You know what? I'm just gonna go with like this super dissonant. Um, this minor major nine arpeggio. <laughs> done um let's listen let's listen to everybody else's entries i'm excited 
So, okay, Steve, great to have you here. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Um, okay, we're going to look in Dropbox and thanks, guys. Weekly challenge number nine. All right. Um, Simon, I used, I originally used the Outrun Impact preset, and then I started tweaking it. There's quite a few changes to it now. It's not that similar to how it began, but that's the one I started with. It's called Outrun, which is another name for this genre. Okay, so, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> So just so everyone knows, if you're still in the stream or if you're new, this challenge goes on in my Discord, which is a kind of ch chat room hangout zone. And um, different people who are in the Discord will participate in the challenge uh, each week and give their own entries for it. So this is their entries that we're going to listen to now. So up first, uh, in order of, let's go reverse alphabetical order because we always go alphabetical. So now we're going to have Thomas T. Henricus. So Time Trials is the name of the track. Oh, I'm stoked. Let's do it. Hopefully the volume's all right for you guys. My track was a little bit loud there. Bye, Steve. It's as loud as I can push it. <laughs> nice, that was great. Maybe you didn't put a limiter on it or something? I don't know, it was quite quiet comparatively, but like the actual track sounds really cool. Thanks for that, the lead was great. Really dig it. There's so much you can do in this genre, wow. Um, okay, a few people don't have stream written in the name of their track, just for anyone who's gonna join in the future or if you're joining now and you don't know otherwise. Um, if you want me to play it on the stream, you have to put stream in the title of your file, just so I know. And maybe you all know that and like, yeah, you just don't want it, which is totally fine. So up next, we've got, you turned in the wrong file. <laughs> up next, we've got uh, Nick. And so Nick Darmok is his name in Discord. So Tron Runner, the future in A flat minor. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So cool. Love the stereo effects so much. The bass do 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 and the little tingy thing, ting 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 ting. The lead was great. It was all wonderful. Really liked it. Nice work, Nick.
<laughs> RME, welcome. Hello. <laughs> it's thrilling. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Nick. So now we have Megan. Pig now named. Ride the synth wave. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Let's check it out. so cool <laughs> kind of blew my mind actually really awesome love all the sounds the mix was great too love the way that it changes to the major chord there Oof. just fantastic yeah well wow. <laughs> next we have Got to follow up all those tracks? Wow, what are you going to do? How are you going to compete? No, it's not a competition, but it kind of is. Kim. Kim with credit roll. Let's hear it, Kim. So good. That was great. Really good. So authentic sounding. Great, great sound choice. Great vibe. Really liked it. Nice work. Rev, welcome. Good to see you. That was sick. They're all sick. Okay. Last for today. For those who have written stream anyway, want to be playing the stream. There's a couple other ones that we won't listen to here, but they will be in the Discord, if you guys want to check it out later. Um, we have Shamkra. Okay, so let's check it out. Yeah, we should just straight up turn into a synthwave group. Let's just be done with all the other stuff. Jazzy, hip hop -y, rocky, whatever. Synthwave, man. We just take over the world. Straight up. Oh, swinging. Wow. 
Awesome. That's so funny, Shankra, that I was singing that groove over and over again throughout the stream. I had no idea that you were actually, I had not, I had not listened to your track yet, so I had no idea you were going to do it. That and then you had it there. That was great. Okay. Yeah, I agree, Tom. Some Final Fantasy vibes for sure. That was actually great. I was, I'm so happy we did this challenge, the synthwave thing. Wow. What a success. More! I want more, more people to be participating in the challenges. Please, if you're watching, hit up the Discord. The link's in the description. We would love to have you participate. Like, this one turned out so well. They all turn out so well, but I mean, this one particularly, like, we should just make a super group. We all just, like, make Synthwave and release it on our own label and then just, like, dominate the world. Let's get that set up ASAP. We'll play mine one more time here, and then I'll see you guys in the Discord afterward. So watch your volumes because mine's pretty loud. So here we go. like it. <laughs> Jose Isle. Oh, I can't say your name. I'm sorry. Jose Isle. Jose Isle. Silva. Welcome. <laughs> that was great. Thanks, guys. I so enjoy reading all your comments. It's wonderful. I so enjoy just being with all of you. Doing these streams every week is just a blast. For those that don't know, I stream twice a week. Every Sunday we do the challenge, like this, and then on Tuesday we do a varying stream. Sometimes just a composition stream, sometimes a theory, teaching stream, it just depends on what it is. If someone has suggestions for this week, please shout it out to me here or in the Discord. I'm happy to do it. Otherwise, I'll probably work on my chill track that I've been working on in the past weeks. Um, yeah, and so we're gonna have a new challenge tomorrow if I am actually on time which I never am but we'll give it a shot Monday usually I'm trying to be start of the new challenge and so if you want to join up in the discord um, you can participate in the challenge there and I'll post that I'm also going to post all of the entries from today in there along with a vote you can go vote for your three favorites and then we announce the winners of those uh, next week and then we'll have a new challenge again next week so yeah it's uh, been great, really good to be with you. Let me just read some of these comments here so I don't miss anything important. You should produce a soundtrack to a video you put out on Discord, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'm gonna quickly play the um, chill track that I was working on on past uh, streams on Tuesdays just to give people a taste if you haven't been on those streams what goes on there of course if you guys got a bounce go for it uh, but if you want to check it out I'll just play it quickly while we hang out here yeah we're definitely going to do a video challenge no doubt about it um, I just need to get that set up with a good video to work on it would be great though um, so this is the stream I've been doing for a few Tuesdays, not last Tuesday, but a few weeks before that I was working on this one. And um, it'll kind of like be a nice way to send us off here in a chill mood. I mean, if maybe you wanted to be amped up. Outrun. What a great title for a genre, Outrun. Love it. Um, okay. So here we go. We'll just listen to this and then we'll say goodbye. Oh. 
Hopefully the volume's okay. I actually have no idea. <laughs> Could I reposition the camera? In what way? What, so we see my face again?
I like it. Maybe we'll get back to that on Tuesday. I love all the comments. I'm reading them all. Sorry, I can't type fast enough to, res to respond to all of them. But yeah, that one turned out pretty well. Um, man, Harmony Wave. Harmony Wave? That's what I'm looking for, man. That's like what the genre I've been searching for my whole life. I don't know why, but like this one chord is one that I'm also never play, but I really enjoy. This next guy. It's not like it's outrageous, it just really does it for me. Anyway, don't get me started on the harmony thing. I'll just talk all day about it. Okay, guys, it's been a blast to be with you as always. Um, what a wonderful group of people. So supportive and encouraging and cool, chill, funny, handsome, gorgeous, attractive. Yeah, just really good. Um, I'm going to be back on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., probably working on this track, unless anything else comes up that I feel like I need to do instead. Um, yeah, otherwise, then the following Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, just like today, I'll be back to do my challenge entry for next week, which will be a mystery until tomorrow, what the challenge is going to be. Um, so stay tuned for that. Remember to check the links in the description if you haven't. They're for my Udemy courses on theory and composition, as well as the Discord link where you can join up there and chat with us about music and share your tracks, get feedback, participate in the challenges, be a cool person. Now you're all cool people, no matter if you're in the Discord or not, of course. So happy to be with you all. Have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you very soon. No problem, Rev. I appreciate you being here. I know your support is amazing, and just like everybody here, amazing support. It's just wonderful. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.